Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, I will be taking you around Delhi Heart Market, which is home to thousands of handloom and handicraft artists. There are various other Delhi Hearts in Delhi, like in that of Pitampura, Janakpuri, etc. But the most famous one is that of INA, where I am today. There are also various types of festivals that takes place in Delhi Heart, so it's better to check the website of Delhi Heart before visiting it, so that you can enjoy the festivals too. For reaching Delhi Heart INA, Delhi Metro is the most convenient mode of transport. For that, you need to get down at INA Metro Station of Yellow Line. You can change if you are at different line at the Common Intersection Station, which is Rajiv Chowk. After getting down from Metro, take the exit from Gate Number One, turn right towards the Petrol Pump, walk straight for five minutes, and you will be right there at Delhi Heart. This is how the entry and the ticket counter of Delhi Heart looks like. Delhi Heart provides the ambience of a traditional rural heart or village market, but one more suited for contemporary needs. It is a mix of craft, food, and cultural activities. Spread over an area of six acres, it displays the richness of Indian culture under one roof, and it tops the list of must-visit places in Delhi. The timing of Delhi Heart is from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., and best time to visit it is in the evening. Ticket is priced at rupees thirty for adults and ten for kids. This is the first shop that you will see on entering Delhi Heart. They have stalls, jackets, kurtis, hundred percent pashmina shawls, etc. This shop had some amazing long kalamkari skirts for rupees six fifty and some short kurtis for seven fifty rupees. You can find these dress materials at different shops, also these stalls. They are priced at rupees four hundred to two thousand, and sometimes even more. These plain cloth material was for rupees two hundred rupees per meter. This is ikat work from Orissa. They had sarees, suits, dress materials, stalls, etc. In this work, they were priced at rupees five hundred to more. I really like this light green kind of a kurti at Uttar Pradesh stall but unfortunately it was not in my size they had some amazing collection of kurtis chicken kari kurtis in cotton in other materials in various colors the green one was for rupees 1400 but you can get these for about 700 rupees to 5000 rupees This was another shop for chicken curry kurtis, which was shop number seventy-two. It also has some amazing varieties of long kurtis, short kurtis in different materials. Look at the amount of range they have. This is the white chicken curry kurti, blue, pink, green, yellow, white. They had various colors in these kurtis. They were priced at rupees seven hundred to. Two to three thousand, and sarees were for rupees five thousand, ten thousand, and sometimes even more. You will also find these kind of stalls, colorful mirror work stalls, which are really famous these days. Also, this full set of suit. These stalls in various colors. You can find colorful bangles in all sizes, even for small girls. These cute key rings. Look at this one, which is in the shape of bat. It has Virat Kohli written over it, so Virat Kohli fans can come here and can purchase these. These were for thirty to fifty rupees. Also, you can buy these wooden um, neck pieces. You can find these antique metallic neck pieces, which were really long, short, colorful, made up of stones, bracelets, pile anklets, rings. This was one shop which had more colorful kind of stuff. 
the big stoned neck pieces also these beautiful earrings also bracelets and all kind of accessories for girls i really like the collection they had you can find lot of shops selling accessories for girls these bracelets were priced at rupees 200 250 these rings were 400 rupees 150 rupees this shop had some different kind of jewelry pieces which were more expensive and of course better in quality i really like this big neck piece look at the variety he has in these neck pieces they are better in quality of course compared to the ones that i showed you before some more earrings oho kind of earrings chand balis big earrings mirror earrings and what not you can also find these colorful embroidered sling bags these are really in these days and these are gujarati work you can find these at different markets of delhi too and also these lovely clutch bags i really love them they were priced at rupees uh, 200 to 2000 rupees you can also find these kinds of colorful baskets and these random kind of stalls where a person was writing designer kind of names on mugs and other things look at these funny lines written on the cushion cover these were priced at rupees 200 each you can also get get other designs i have doremon and shinchan cushion covers which i always keep in my room you can also find some handloom stuff at tilli hat these were some coasters made up of beads they were in different colors coasters and the mat which you can put on your center table or dining table this person actually dropped these uh, plastic ones to show me that they are unbreakable you can also get these kind of mats at different shops they were in various sizes i really like this colorful one also these leathery bags this particular shop which is shop number 82 at delhi hat had some huge variety of plates tissue holders soap refills plant pots flower pots aromatic diffusers pickle storage bowls pen stands hooks wall hangings and all these kind of stuff made up of chini mitti they were priced at rupees 25 to 500 rupees 1000 rupees and even more Shop number 88 had Madhubani paintings which you can purchase for 500 rupees to more and shop number 89 had more decorative stuff This one shop had some amazing cute stuff like kaleidoscopes paper clips look at this cute frog it had different patterns too pencils with eraser all these cute stuff fridge magnets key rings rings small diaries dream catchers wooden hangings soft toys basuris bangles This was the most funny stuff that I found in this cute shop. It had this wallet in the print of two thousand rupees note. This one shop had more expensive stuff because this was made up of wooden and metal. They had wall hangings and more decorative stuff, statues and all. You can also find artificial plants here. This white stand is really fancy. Also these small flower pots or plant pots are really cute. They are all artificial plants. This shop had real leather bags for both men and women. 
you can get huge bags and smaller ones too they were pricey because of course it's leather real leather but quality is good too you will also find these kind of namkeen corners or shops randomly where they make you taste the namkeen and then you can purchase the one you like you can find these shops which had real pearls and silver jewelry This neem wood combo is quite interesting. It claims that it's 100% herbal and reduces hair fall and removes dandruff. Guaranteed if not satisfied and time money back guarantee and all those stuff. Each stall has its own serial number. You cannot bargain much at Delhi Hat. At max they will give you a discount of 5 to 10% but not more. There are food stalls from different states at Delhi Hut. We had our lunch at uh, Rajasthan food stall which is stall number 9 but of course you can find these stalls from different states too. Like this one from Odisha. UP Chinese, Bihar, etc. That was it for today's vlog. I hope you loved watching it and will surely visit this place. In my next video, I will show you all that I purchased from Delhi Hat. Till then, like this video, share it with your friends, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Till my next video, bye. Take care.